Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for uh, December 16th through the 31st. And uh, yeah, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Taurus. This message won't apply with everybody, so just take what you want and leave what don't. Okay, the person Taurus is dealing with. Okay, your guys' theme of the reading. I'm pulling from the romance angels here. What is Taurus's theme? You guys have give your relationship a chance. So work on your partnership. Bottom of the deck is heart to heart conversations. So um, maybe you need to sit down and talk with your partner about um, <clears throat> where to go from here and what you guys are wanting to do. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles, um, kind of holding back. You guys aren't um, giving, you're not expressing yourselves or your emotions. Um, this could be due to some deceitful energy that is around you, and it has affected your stability, your home life. Um, I do feel that your, your home life is pretty shaken right now with the Seven of Swords with the Four of Wands. So somebody is uh, is doing things that are sneaky, deceitful, and um, and nobody's expressing their emotions, holding back. Um, your first card out was the moon. So um, you have a lot of fear about the future. You have a lot of fear about this deceit that's going on. Um, there could be some secrets that you are keeping from your partner or your partner from you. Um, and you're really at a crossroads in your life. You're really at a place where you need to go within and reflect and decide what it is that you truly want. What um, direction do you want to head in? And then once you figure that out, you can um, untie yourself from one of them. Are you going east or are you going west, right or left? When you decide, you have to untie from that other wand so you can move forward. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or um, a Virgo that's leaving, or this is saying that you need to go within. You're not looking within yourself. You're not look. You're not trying to figure out what it is that you want, um, and you need to go within and listen to your heart. Let's get some clarifiers here and see what we got going on. Why is the moon here for Taurus? The six of wands is with the moon. Why is the two of wands here? The Knight of Wands. Are you dealing with a fire sign? Very possibly could be. Why is the Hermit here in reverse for Taurus? The Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. So, um, Taurus, you guys are feeling some... Um, you're feeling very uh, full of doubt. You're filled with doubt. You're filled with fear. You're not sure what to do. You're feeling defeated at the moment with the six of wands there clarifying the moon. Could be dealing with a cancer or Pisces as well. Um, you have the two of wands here clarified by the knight of wands. So very flighty. Someone is in and out of your life. Someone can't make a decision on which path they want to go. Um, whether this is you or a fire sign you're dealing with. Um, very in and out. Not stable. Not able to... Um, to be there consistently. You could be leaving a Virgo or a Virgo is leaving you with the four of wands clar in reverse clarifying <clears throat> the hermit. So something that at one time provided you stability and, uh, and support is now looks like with the seven of swords and the four of wands here. Um, this person could have, you could have stepped out of this relationship on this person or this person did that to you like stepped out of the marriage uh the person that you are dealing with um has the three of cups 
the King of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So we'll see what... Why is the Three of Cups here? Oh, why is the King of Swords here? And the Knight of, Nine of Swords. Okay, so um, the person that you are dealing with, they have the Three of Cups here. Um, could be a third party situation, but they're going to come in very quickly and very abruptly and tell you the truth. They're going to come forward and come clean about this third party situation that they um, either put you in or you put them in. One of the two. They're coming in to tell you how they truly feel and uh, coming in very quick, wielding that truth in their right hand. Um, this person is has decided to uh, start making decisions. This person had been uh, very wishy-washy, very back and forth, very flighty in their actions, but now they are making decisions, they're making choices, and they're moving forward. And the decisions that they make are they are finally following their heart. Um, for a long time, they let their mind um, control their actions as far as making a head over heart decision, but now they're making decisions and they're following their heart. <clears throat> they've had a lot of stress over this, a lot of anxiety over what to do and where to go from here. They could have possibly been manipulating the situation or, or you were manipulating them. Um, but either way, there's a lot of stress here, a lot of anxiety over what to do. They want to be able to create something. They want to be able to manifest something, but they're stressing out over the situation. Why is the king of wands here? So for you, uh, Taurus, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who is very defensive about what has happened in the past. Um, very, uh, very quick to defend their point to the point where they might not even be listening to what you're saying. And it's just really frustrating you all. The high priestess and the four swords. So for the seven of cups, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of anxiety on your part as well. You're just confused about where to go from here. Spirit is saying to listen to your intuition that, that you are right on. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. If it feels right, it's right. Um, but there are some secrets here with the high priestess that are going to need some healing from um, after this confusion is figured out. Um, your last outcome card is the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's You're about ending a cycle. It's about time to put this burden of this relationship to rest. Um, I do feel this is somebody you're married to. Let's see what this card is. Rebirth in reverse. So, yeah, um, this is the Judgment card in most decks. So, you're about to end a cycle that... Um, needs to come to a close. You've learned your lessons. It's time to um, close that chapter because rebirth is here. So there, it's time to put down this burden. With with the judgment in reverse, there's not going to be a second chance um, at this relationship if you don't allow the cycle, this cycle to close, this chapter to end. Um, it's time to put that. Put the wands down that are so heavy. You've been carrying them for far too long, Taurus. Oops. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I want to see what the Seven of Swords is all about for you guys. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, there could have been something going on with a fire sign. <clears throat> Either you, Taurus, or your partner. See, there's that Ten of Wands again. So when clarifying the seven of swords, I got the ace of wands in reverse and the ten of wands in the upright. So it's time to um, end what all this, whatever this burden is of this relationship, whether it's to forgive and move forward with this person or to forgive, learn and move on from this person. You guys are at the end of a cycle. And then if you don't want it to repeat again, it's time to close it out. It's time to close that chapter down. All right, what's the advice for Taurus for the next two weeks? 
the river queen. Letting go, flow, and natural movement. So this is all about um, trying not to fight the current, not to fight what is meant to happen, what is sent from the universe. It's just to relax, to let go of all these burdens and go with the flow. Because when you try to fight the current, you're going to get tired, you're going to get exhausted, and you're going to end up drowning, and you're and it's not good. But if you relax, you let go, you go with the flow, the water will take you where you're meant to be. The water will lead you to um, where you're supposed to go, as well as cleanse all your emotions, your heartache. So allow the, um, the natural movement of things to help heal your heart and to help move you forward. So that's all I have for you guys, Taurus. I hope you guys have a beautiful uh, next two weeks of December. Uh, Merry Christmas for those of you who celebrate the holidays. And I hope you have a beautiful new year. I will see you next time. God bless.